Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another episode of The Last Talk Show. But before we get there, we need a pointer's problem. And this one specifically is one of pointer's problems. Children that act like adults. That's a nightmare. It's terrible. Imagine little pointer acting like an adult. That would be despicable. Little pointer is little pointer because he's a sweet little child. Uh, pointer, little pointer, do you have a problem with children that act like adults? Yes. Why? Because it might, it might not be fun. This TV show, their kids were acting like adults, and they, she had to choose a favorite. He chose one, and he was all sad. Mm. He even sat in the in the paper the paper towel aisle. Now that is one of Pointer's problems. So get ready for another exciting episode of the Last Talk Show, and get ready to analyze some culture. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for tuning back in to the one, the only, The Last Talk Show. Clap it up! As you know, others have come before us, others will come after us, but this is The Last Talk Show, and what we do is analyze culture in its raw form. Uh, you did not come for me. You did not come for the hair, or the suit, or the shoes. You came for the wonderful people sitting to the right of me who came from near and far, through trials and tribulations, to analyze culture. So would you please clap it up? For joy and monochrome, clap it up for the both of them! They are here and they are ready to analyze culture dutifully and beautifully. But before we go further, I want them to provide a little insight into themselves. So I'm going to start with monochrome. Monochrome, would you tell the viewer about you? Of course. Hello, my name's Monochrome. I am an I am a independent artist. I sing, dance, write, and uh, do a little uh, vocal stuff on the oh, side. Just uh, a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, I play instruments and I like good jazz, so I mean... Feel free to listen to my music sometime. Yes, clap it up. We're going to make sure we're going to plug that social media at the end of the episode. But keep watching so you can know who to follow. And Joy, Joy, tell the viewer about you. Hello, my name is Joy Mamie. I'm a comedian. I sing. I play this ukulele oh. right here. Um, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> I love it. All of it. Characters, all that good stuff. And clap it up for Joy. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing monochrome and Joy are giving me joy. I want to stop, slap up, and start dancing and shouting. Uh, we're, what we do on the show, folks, I don't want to uh, go ahead of myself, we analyze the culture mm -hmm. in its raw form. As we all know, social media has taken over and shaped our culture in a way that we have no choice but to somehow participate on some social media platform and do our best on the show to gain a better understanding of why people post what they post, why, how they do it, when they do it, all that crazy stuff. And hopefully we arrive at a conclusion, uh, a humorous conclusion, and we move forward in that manner. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Sounds good. Wonderful. Yeah. Live studio audience, is that okay with you? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, let's get down to business. The first category is what would you do? This is where you put yourself in a certain situation and you have to determine what would you do in a given situation. It can get crazy. It can get crazy. Uh, let's go to the first what would you do. Uh, you're stopped by a three foot cop officer that has no <gasps> weapon. Uh, I am curious to know what would you do. Let me start with monochrome. Monochrome, the three foot officer of the law to protect and serve but stops you. What are you going to do? Okay, uh, first of all, I'd be like, um Hello, officer. <laughs> Hello, officer. How you doing? <laughs> is, there, is there a problem? Is there a problem? Um, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, like, how do I address that? Like, I mean, I could say hi, you know, like, yeah. ask him if, if, I, if there's anything wrong. I mean, he doesn't have a weapon on him. I mean, I could, I could ask why there's no badge or weapon. I mean, have him identify himself. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's smart. Wow, that's logical. That's less logical. Clap it up for logic. Hello. Now, Joy, share with me. If you were stopped by the three foot officer right. with no weapon, no weapon. what you gonna do? I'd say, uh, cool, where's the bachelorette party at? Oh! And, um, yeah. She went there. And, and I, I like it. I try to get an invite. All right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With no what that now that does bring up an interesting mm -hmm. point. Uh, we won't go too deep into the uh, affairs of bachelorette parties. Sure. But would you want a uh, a three foot uh, officer at your bachelorette party? Maybe like six foot, not three foot. <laughs> That's what I'm like, it depends. I don't know. People, you have the right to love, like, whatever you want, but to want that at your party, Right. Do you, can can y'all maybe help me understand the dynamic, Joy? Uh -huh. Why would someone want that? 
I'm, I'm you, just asking. You know, everybody's got their kink. I'm right. not here to shame. I would assume that he's got some great moves. Okay, Hopeful, okay. Hopefully a nice little washboard oh. underneath those underneath those. That's what I'm talking suits. about. What are they called? You know, uniforms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uniform suit, same thing. Police yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Monochrome, what do you think? Uh, would you, you said no to the three foot, you'd I want mean, a six like, foot. If he wants to come, sure. I mean, he can have a good time. He can time. party too. He can yeah, yeah, party yeah. too, yeah. Have it all. Like, I love it. Uh, okay, now let's take it out of the bachelorette party briefly. Sure, sure, sure. And, and we're dealing with, you were speeding a little fast on the freeway. Uh-huh. And this three-foot officer does pull you over. He cannot get to the cars. You have to, you know, like a monochrome did, peek over the window <laughs> oh. and see the person. Uh, and it's like, I'm going to give you a ticket. Uh, but, you know, what do, do you, like, tell them, like, no bad Boy, I mean, how do you how do you respond? I'm sorry, it's just me. I'm, I'm like, oh, that goes back to the bachelorette party. Exactly. Let me keep it in the vein of freeway going too fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what would would you take the ticket or would it be? I guess since it's an off, what do y'all think? I mean, I would be like, well, did you gun me? You know, like how fast was I going? Yeah. You know, you got the food. Like, right. You don't got the equipment. You don't got the evidence. Right. Yeah. He doesn't have a weapon, but he's got. I don't know. Joy, what do you think? Is it just uh, yeah. wild? Same boat. Want to know? First off. He doesn't got a weapon, but he has, does he have an, a badge? Because, I mean, I need to know if this guy is legit. I would still be on the idea that this is a bachelorette You want that party. bachelorette party really with your three it. foot. Clap it up for the bachelorette. <laughs> I should have had one. I could have had one right here. Let's go to the next one. I'm having a good time. A citizen, what would you do in a citizen's arrest situation where a citizen attempts to arrest you after you broke the law? So these are two, you know kind of incriminating, incriminating mm -hmm. ones. Uh, but it's interesting, because I've never seen this happen. I want to start off with this question. Have y'all ever seen a citizen's arrest? I have Once. No. Oh, I have. Please, yeah, please <laughs> give a, me There was a, a couple of videos that I managed to stumble upon. Like, there would always be like, you know when you see those Karens or like those uh, those Michaels in the stores? Oh, like, yes. Yeah, I know, disgusting, right? <laughs> 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 like, they cause problems, and then like they start like throwing stuff around yeah. and like being really disrespectful. And it's just like, you, you see like, one or two of them just go over there and just like start like holding the guy down, pinning him down. He's rustling, bustling, trying to get away. Yeah. But it's like it's not working. But you know it's working kind of. Right. Um, right. Right. And it, it can get very you know interesting. But I mean, from what I've seen, some of them are a little low key. They aren't too bad. Right. But, I mean, right. Yeah. And just just hold them until the police get there in a way. Wow. Mm -hmm. Clap that up. I've never seen that before. Uh, me and Joy hasn't either. Uh, but never seen it. I love it. I love yeah. that you have because you're going to help us provide good insight into this. So I'll start with Joy. Joy, mm -hmm. uh, you did break the law. Right. You know, you did. Uh, I'm going to go with this. Maybe you stole some stuff. Right. From. Uh, where's your favorite makeup store? Lush? Oh, uh, it's a Lush, Shephora, Shephora. Uh, uh, any of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you stole a significant, you stole the most expensive makeup from Kylie Jenner, right. Rihanna, the most popping. Oh, uh, oh poor, I, I, it's probably Rihanna and I feel terrible. But you understand why, because it's Because so it's good. the best, yeah. Um, so what would you do? So then you have maybe a Karen come up yeah. and, hey, you stole, you're under, and start like, what are you going to do? I would, I would mirror the Karen. I would say, no, you stole Rihanna's stuff. Oh. And then she'd say, no, you stole, and then we'd be caught in this, this no, cycle. You, no, you, you. And then, the but, and I have a, my name is Joy, I got a wholesome, yeah, you sure I got a wholesome too. facade. Yes. So I feel I like I feel like the citizen's arrest would be a uh, 180. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone. <laughs> let's only hope that they could uh, side with me. Yes. I, I got charisma. Yeah, yeah you're so sure Yeah. You're sure <laughs> Thank you so I like much, that. everyone. I like that. <laughs> so let's go, monochrome. What would you do? You stole. You know, you got your popping lipstick makeup from Sephora. Exactly. <laughs> and then somebody's like, "No, you can't do that. You're under arrest." Well, I would pull like a whole like. No, you stole this. Right. Like, like, oh, like uh, that Jedi mind trick. Kind of I, I like the Star Wars aspect of yours right, better, though. Because right. it's not the person you are looking for. Right. Oh, <laughs> could that be effective? Do you think you can make that happen? I mean, like, if I had a degree in, like, hypnotism. Oh, <laughs> where, do you, where do you major for hypnotism? <laughs> I know. What school is that? Might be one that's now uh, debunked and defunct and de all that stuff. Uh, let, that's good. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next category, a very exciting category. It's called Love Talks. Mm -hmm. uh, as we know, love is vital. Right. Uh, it was Huey Lewis that said, the power of love, it's a curious thing. <laughs> Uh, make a one man weep, make another man sing. That's what Huey said. Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. Very iconic. Both yeah. of y'all have seen Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Some, oh, yeah. Break, some guests break my heart. So, love. Love is very important, very vital. And we uh, like to analyze love on the last talk show so we can gain a better understanding. And so, maybe Pointer can 
fall in love. Let's go to the first uh, Love Talks. Uh, can Love Stink? Yes. And there's an uh, iconic song called Love Stinks by the Jay Giles Band. Uh, you love her, but she loves him. And he loves somebody else. You just can't win. And so it goes, till the day you die, this thing they call love, it's gonna make you cry. Uh, let's start with uh, monochrome. Monochrome, does love stink? Uh, or can it stink, rather? It, it can. Okay. It really can. I mean, okay. like, it really just depends on, like, you know, the person that you decide to invest yourself into. Yeah. I mean, like, you can be, like, this absolutely amazing person and give your 100% to somebody and just, you know, try to provide the world for them. Yeah. But, you know, as much as you can love somebody, somebody doesn't want that, you know, for someone else or for mm. themselves sometimes. Yeah. So, I mean, like, as much as you can love one person, you have to really learn to love yourself. Mm. Self-love, clap it up. Always yeah. gotta uh, appreciate self-love and those that practice it, and everyone should practice it. Joy, your thoughts. Yeah, love can stink, love can smell. I've dated guys who just don't wash. Mm. I, I I feel like love can, <sighs> I know, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, love can, um, Love can just uh, like strike a, a, a dagger inside yeah. of you, and that smells. Yeah, gosh, uh, you're totally right. Yeah, that does stink. You don't want you don't want it to also to be stuck in there, and then days pass, and then it's like that blood stink. You know what I mean? Roll blood be stinking. Blood, blood be stinky. Be stinking. Stinky oh. blood. I like to clap it up for the both of them. They provided great insight, but I do want to ask: Is it love that stinks, or is it? the person that you love that stinks or the mm. situation that stinks because love in itself right. you know I, it's tough when i see stuff like this because you know you love her but she loves him and he loves somebody else is that love's fault or is that the bozo's fault that he's they're cheating he cheating they cheat so it's like mm -hmm. whose fault is it is it the bozo that's claiming they're in love or is it actually love that's tough. I mean, I would I would say love is wonderful. Yeah. The idea of, of the feeling is great. But yeah, I would say it's the situation and the person. Because they, they're the ones that cause the love to stink. Clap that thing up. Thank you. Monochrome. I mean, like, yeah, it can go, like, both ways. Like, yeah. love, like Joy said, is a very amazing thing. It's very yeah. beautiful, very powerful. And sometimes it can cause people to go, I wouldn't say utterly insane, but to really lose themselves, mm -hmm. you know? Like if they think, like let's say you're in a relationship and that person thinks that they love somebody else, but you love them more, you know, right. and right. they decide to go with that person because they think that's love, oh. you know? The way they interpret love can really, I guess, divert that into like a whole different category. Clap that up. Wow, we've got some great analyzers yeah. of culture here. Wow, the one day, I love it. Let's go <laughs> to the next uh, love talk. Uh, what keeps Ooh, love that's strong? That is a really good that's question. You know, I'm going a little deep. I normally like to keep it humorous, but I need advice. Right. I'm struggling. Uh -huh. Let's start with Joy. Joy, help me. What keeps love strong? Um, well, knowing that you have love it, and appreciating the fact that it's there, mm. I think that's the thing. You got to appreciate it. You can't take it for granted. Yeah. Um, you got to keep remembering like, oh, I'm, I have this. And also when it dies, <laughs> Um, not oh, to I say think, that it's, uh, I it sucks, it's, yeah, but yeah. to appreciate the fact that it existed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you had it for a minute. Yeah, yeah not to hate that it's gone, but yeah. to love that it was there. Wow, yeah. that's good. I think that's what the Beatles were talking about. It's better to have loved then, than to have lost than right. to never, never have, have loved, loved at all. all. So monochrome right. hit me. What keeps love strong? I feel that. Um, I feel like in like a relationship, communication is the mm -hmm. number one Ooh. thing. Number one thing. Because you have a lot of people that just go in a relationship and they're like, oh, ha, ha, that's cool. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> right. And it's like, well, communicate with me. What's exactly. the problem? Exactly. And like as many Good times point. as you can be like, oh, like, hey, how's your day going? Yeah. And like if it's like really dry and, you know, there's like no like correspondence yeah. or no connection there, it's like you kind of lose it. Mm -hmm. Clap that up. Mm -hmm. I'm loving them. They're just giving some true analysis. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I think y'all helped me significantly. I need to communicate and I need to appreciate when I have it. Mm -hmm. If I ever get it. Let's go to the next uh, category of the show. Awkward affection. Now, both of you mm -hmm. are on IG. That's right. how we met and connected and I yes. love it. Clap it up for Instagram, please. Uh, bringing people together even though I had to pay for the ads. Uh, still, I appreciate you. Uh, 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 awkward affection. Uh, there are uh, normally it's uh, what I like to call baddies on Instagram. And mm -hmm. they post themselves and they flaunt themselves and they show all that they're doing and great. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. Uh, but there are guys that will comment on these posts and they don't comment things that are 
appropriate. Right. Some might view it as awkward, mm -hmm. or some might view it as that's great and mm -hmm. do you and I respect you and what your decision is. Mm -hmm. uh, have y'all seen comments like that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've even gotten some. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank. Thank goodness for that sexy delete button. Uh, That's the sexiest it's of buttons. so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it can save you. It can save you. Uh, so I'm glad they have experience with both, uh, you know, seeing this kind of thing. So we're going to dive right in. These are real comments mm -hmm. from real users that have oh, been man. screenshotted, and it's our job to analyze and see, is it awkward? Mm -hmm. Is it Apple Pro, or is it just straight out sexy delete button? Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, drops Bugatti key. LOL, I forgot I'm 6'7", <laughs> light skin with curly hair, D1, super fit, and athletic, insanely rich, and I love to save kids in my free time. Anyways, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm got two there. likes. I'm a, oh, hey. Yes. Comments are tough when you get likes on your comment. Yeah. You got to put in extra work. But I want to get Monochrome's thought on this first. What okay. are your thoughts? I mean, like, Homeboy gave himself the whole profile. Mm -hmm. You know, he put himself out there. He put there. himself out there. He was like, yo, this is what I do. Yeah. You know, if you like what you see, yeah. don't hesitate to come my way. Tap in. I can respect that. Cut that up. I liked it. And it wasn't anything. Oh, let me shut up before I yap. Joy, I want your thoughts. First thought, don't know what Bugatti is. Heard it before, uh, not sure what that is. Very expensive car. car. Ah, Extremely. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. the rapper's talk, I woke and up he, in a And he dropped the key to show you. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, so you can hear, whoa, that's not that's not a Toyota that's, thing that John is driving. Bugatti. That's a Bugatti. Yeah, and that's why he's insanely rich. Right. Um, and, I, yeah. I'm like, quite frank, also, what does D1 mean? Like so he's D one bound, the the primary league, the Division best of one. leagues. Division one. Division one. Yeah. one. See, yeah. I'm I'm catching up with all the hot lingo here. You're gonna get it. I'm You're gonna, gonna get, get it. it. You're um, gonna get it. I mean, he's putting himself out there. Yeah. I like pe at least two people in the universe like it. Two. So, maybe including himself maybe and including his spam his, account. I forgot you but we like won't your do own that. Comments. Yeah, but we won't. Uh, we'll <laughs> give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I I mean, I I would probably leave that on okay. and then just let it be. I don't think mm. I delete it. He hasn't offended me. I want to know which well, kids saving kids in his free time confuses me too. Well, everybody um, loves that cuz normally yeah. guys want to show, I know even the Bachelor, mm -hmm. one of the worst shows ever. But, you know, the dude was like, oh, I, I help out kids in my free time, and I go to right. the shelter, and ladies, oh, most, some ladies, oh, that's so sweet, he yeah. cares about the kids. So I think this guy's saying he loves to, I don't know how he's saving kids. I just realized uh, his name is Whole lot of Cash. So he's really he's trying so to show. He's so rich. He's too rich. He's insanely His rich. username had to be rich. <laughs> that boy balling. Ooh, wow. Let's man. go to the next one. I don't want to focus on how, uh, you know, he's saying you need to be tall, you need to be light skinned, you need to have curly hair, because that is false, but I won't go there. He uh, forgot we'll, we'll it is nice. false. You know, it is wow. false. It is false. Uh, baby girl, what your name? Let me talk to you. Yeah, let me oh. give you some. <laughs> some <pee -pee. laughs> I didn't even mean to finish that. Oh, man. Who like, put this here? This is hubba, terrible. Hubba. This is terrible. <laughs> See, and that's why it's so. Okay, okay. I'm sure we can all agree this goes over uh -huh. awkward. This is, yeah. just, oh, yeah. this is this sexy is delete button. That's secondhand embarrassment. It really yeah. is. And it's almost <laughs> sexual harassment. Like, yes. And also. He can he can know my name by look he's on my profile. Wow. Mm, Where logic. is El Logic? Where Jono. is it? God, John Jono. Oh, Jono. Oh, zero. Yeah, he's got zero uh, sense. <laughs> he's got zero sense. Uh, <laughs> monochrome, what if this was commented on your page, what would you do? Delete. Mm -hmm. Delete. Delete. <laughs> Not even would now now would it be deserving of a block? Would you block this user or would it just delete the comment? I mean, I could keep the follow. I would just delete the comment. <laughs> keep the yeah, follow. Keep yeah, the we follow. want to keep our followers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Joy, would you just delete? I would screenshot. Okay. I would post. Oh. I yeah, I would I would I would uh wow. expose I him. I would expose. <laughs> expose? Um oh. for the awkward though. Yeah. I don't think that needs to be deleted. I I I appreciate that he's willing to give some PP versus, uh, I don't want the PP. He's not willing to like sell me the PP. Oh, he's willing to give it freely. Give it. Um, oh, so no, that's that's a good thought. Yeah, you that's know, nice um, wow. but I don't want the PP. You don't want the PP. <laughs> it's a, the generous is willing to give it, but we don't want exactly. the PP. I don't want the PP mm -hmm. either. Uh, let's go to the uh, next one. Is it true that you want to date me? I mean, I don't usually say yes. <laughs> But yeah, and then like the mouth open, like, ugh, like, like. Are you just, screaming? Yeah, I don't know what that emoji really represents. It's like, am I tired or am I like exhausted? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that really emotes. But let's start with monochrome. Uh, if someone. It's like longing. I'm like longing, I'm longing for you? Oh, like heavy desire. Uh, it's wearing me out, my thoughts. Okay. okay. Monochrome, what are your thoughts? 
I mean, like, it really depends like, if I even know the person. Like, and I'm they gonna... probably not. All of these are random people. Right. I don't think they know the baddies with millions of followers. They're just random. Right. Mm -hmm. So would you, so if you knew the person that... I mean, like, I might even look into the account and be like... <laughs> Wait a minute. But, like, <laughs> right, yeah. right, 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 right. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, if, if it's, like, I would probably just ignore it. I mean, I, could, I would keep it up there. It don't mean nothing, but... I mean, okay. Like, yeah. Clap it up. I love it. I love it. And that makes sense. Joy, your thoughts. Yeah, I would definitely click through. Yeah. See who this dude is. Um, again, I wouldn't delete this one. I would... Because I, I... This shows me that it... Like, he's saying, like, oh, you want to date me? Like, he's trying to be coy. Right. But it's clear that it's all about me. It's, it's like all about he's you. trying to, he's trying to. Put uh, it on flirt. you for you to make uh, that decision. Exactly. Is I'd it true that respond. You... I'd, I'd not respond in a way that I'd be like, let's date. Oh. But I would definitely put some emojis. Got it. Maybe a laugh face. Maybe a crying maybe, maybe face. Maybe a, you know that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Like, or it's like, yeah. I like that emoji. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Let's go to the next one. Uh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh Here we this go. This is a story. Uh, this is kind of similar. So the first one is answer my DMs with a kind of a sad face. We're not really going to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. I hate being a six foot five D1 <laughs> athlete with my 84 Lambos. It's so hard parking in my $100 million mansion and trying to find storage for them. Then the dude underneath goes even crazier. Man, I hate it when I, my iPhone 11, 12 Pro Max 256 gigabyte plus drops between the heated leather seats of my Mercedes S65S AMG Coupe Executive Package. The gap isn't big enough for my, okay, this dude, for my hand to fit it when I'm wearing my bust down Richard Mill lifetime warranty. Lifetime, you yeah. are rich. I don't even know if Bill Gates could afford all that. Right. I don't know who this man is, but you can glide in my DMs. Yo, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but for real, that's insane. Um, We kind of talked on it, but what do y'all think? Should the person flaunt if they're balling like that? I mean, if they have the actual, you know, items to back it up, they totally could. Wow. You know? Now, I, Joy, you agree? I mean, hey, this, la the last commenter, he's got his uh, proper nouns uh, capitalized. That is true. He, he used some good, pretty commas, good grammar. He's got, he's wow. got punctuation. That's a sign. Um, That's a sign. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. That's the, the, guy, the guy before, it's... Woolistic? Woyalistic? I can't Wo Woyistic. Two Woyistic. eyes. Woyistic. Yeah. Woyistic. Woyistic. Right. I hate being six foot five. Oh, life is so hard. Right. Like, right. Oh, right. well, again, the D1 is there. Then this is again. a thing. This so, is a thing. Because apparently. I think what it is, okay. and we can kind of touch I'm on this. this. <laughs> people, I think a lot of people, and a, some, a lot of ladies would even a, a, yeah. admit it, that they want athletes because of their great bodies, they're tall, they get big paychecks. You got to think LeBron uh -huh. James, set for life. <laughs> You know? Is that what's happening here? He's telling me he's a famous athlete. Well, he, that's what, technically, see, essentially, I don't think yes. He's, a athlete, he's telling me he's a famous athlete. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't do that. Famous, yeah, you know? normally you don't have to go around. Samuel Jackson doesn't go around. Hi, I'm I'm, I'm the one of the best actors ever. Uh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Man, y'all are going deep. Let's go to the. Uh, let's, I think this is the last one. Yeah, let's go. Dog, get some new scenery for your pics. That lantern is starting to piss me off. <laughs> Now, this isn't even affection. I just wanted to throw this in because if you like the person, yeah. uh -huh. and this person obviously religiously likes each of their posts, uh -huh. why would you diss them? Monochrome, why would that person do that? I mean, like, constructive criticism. Mm. But for you to say it's starting to piss me <laughs> off, yeah, that's like, what you going to do is, it's not a threat, but it's like, whoa, calm down. Yeah, Joy, yeah. what are your thoughts? Well, this is the first person who actually seems like he's not a bot. This is the that's first true. person who's like that's being true. real, kind of negging though. Yeah. Yeah. Which I gotta say, that doesn't fly anymore. Mm. You got, you know what? How about you say your lantern is everything? I, like that's you have consistency. Your lantern is Look at about the bright you, side you, of it. Looking at the that's, bright side that's quite smart. literally. That's smart. Wow, um, no pun intended. Uh, that's good, Joel. That's good. Though, that's good. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, that's but good. it is aggressive to end on piss me off without like a happy face. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. I I think I think it is awkward, tr but trying to go for flirty for Clap sure. I love this category. Clap it up for these two wonderful guests. <laughs> we have another category coming up. But before we get to the next category, can you just play us a little limerick on that ukulele? A little limerick. Just a mm. quick little limerick. You got it. Um. I'm gonna comment on your post. I'm gonna be the one with the most. Oh my gosh, clap that thing up! Oh my gosh! <laughs>
I need that in my life. Ooh, I need my it. theme song. Wow, <laughs> that makes me want to give some awkward affection. Clap it up one more time for Joy. Oh my God. Yeah. Me and Monica, we were jamming. Yeah, I was a, it was a bop. That was appropriate We'll lay it down, we'll lay it down later. I was about yeah. to make a Migos remix. Oh, hey. okay, let's get to the next category. Uh, cultural analysis of okay. the most ruthless raw category of the show because oh, what it, it does is as y'all know, Twitter is wild. Oh, it's wild. Oh, Twitter yeah. is insane. Mm. Do both of y'all have Twitter? <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, good, good, good. So we know that Twitter is a beast. Yes. It's its yes. own Twitterverse. It's its own universe. Mm -hmm. They do their own thing. They don't really care right. uh, what people think. So it's our job to analyze given tweets and uh, to get our opinion on them and see what's going down. Uh, let's go to the first one. Uh, <clears throat> YouTube Mobile is getting way too comfortable giving me five-minute ads on every video. <laughs> Emoji. Sometimes I'm trying to listen to... Something, something. Oh. while going to sleep slash driving slash at work where I can't immediately skip it and it's super annoying. Mm. Our live studio audience, how do you feel about this? Okay, oh, so you're kind of happy about it. Yeah. I'm not happy about this at all. Uh, I do want to start with monochrome. What are your thoughts on this tweet? I mean, like, I totally feel that because, like, Me I'm too. always, like, binge-watching YouTube videos. Yeah. So, like, especially, like, if I'm trying to listen to, like, lo-fi hip-hop when I go to sleep. Like, I'm not trying to be asleep for five minutes and then hear, Would you like to subscribe to our new, like, yeah, I Yeah, totally. Oh, it gets me so upset, my mom. It's so ridiculous. It Joy, your thoughts? Yeah, no, I feel it. I, I'm the same boat. I, there's nothing worse than, like, listening to a meditation or a chill yes. thing. God, and then yes. suddenly, it's, bam, it's a car. Right, and it's uh, loud. Yeah. I think they on purposely increase the volume of the they, ad they so it just that. disorients you they, uh, that's real and it's like what y'all doing mm, they're trying they're trying to attack you with uh with sales with sales exactly <laughs> and it ain't right Capitalism, man, man. I, and it is because youtube's got their youtube red their premium yeah. are y'all doing that no, I wouldn't. No. Bad, especially when I can skip those ads after 10 seconds. That's the benefit. Yeah. That is and, a good and part. This, Adrienne knows what she's talking about. She's got yeah. seven likes. People feel it. Yeah, like, they're feeling it. You know, I, it. I agree. Um, but yeah, this good for her for saying sleep first. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's, right. That, that hit me. Yeah. Because, I mean, but all of those situations, because you're not supposed to use your phone and drive. No. You're not supposed to be at work and use your phone. Right. So it's like when the ad comes up, you kind of got to pull it out and mm -hmm. hit skip. Because there are some longer than five minutes I've oh, seen. Yeah, I've had yes. some 30 minute ads. And if you forget to skip it, it's ridiculous, and those ones are wild because th those so are like wild. those are like the local ads. They're like yes, I've paid yes. to show you my drill. Uh, that sounded scary. That sounded right. Incredible. Yeah, my my instructional uh, video on how to earn thirty thousand dollars in yeah. a week on yes. my eight week program. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Nah. Boo these ads. Boo 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 boo. boo. Like boo boo. Uh, uh, let me go. No, no, no. Walmart is evil. I have better politics than that. I shop at Target. <laughs> this is wow, that, this was popular. Yeah, it was a good tweet. It was a pretty hot tweet. And I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Let me start with uh, Joy this time. Joy, yeah. what is Horatio Skull talking about? Horatio, he's talking about how Walmart's got that. Do you remember, did you ever see that documentary? Yes, I did. It's I had to tough. Watch it in college. It's rough and I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I agree. I mean, I, I, I've had this thought yeah. Um, yeah. that Target is less evil. I guess. See, I wanted to bring um, that I, up. I wanted is, to bring that up. It, it's just that Target doesn't have a documentary on it yet. Exactly. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Clap it up for Joel. Uh, Monochrome yeah. hit me. Like, I mean, like, Walmart is like always that one store that like everyone goes to when you they absolutely go. need something. Yes. Yeah. It's the store that yes. everyone kind of avoids <laughs> unless they have to go. go. Right. Yeah. Right. True. True. Like, I mean, and it's I mean, it's just it is affordable. You can get the same uh, Target twenty bucks at Walmart. It's like nine. It's bucks. It's true. It's more affordable, but they the way they're affordable is because they're evil and they treat their employees bad. How dare you, Walmart? That Truly. documentary kind of woke me up a mm -hmm, minute. I was like, did. should I shop at Walmart? But I'm like, when you broke, mm -hmm. you, when you can't afford Target, yeah, you have you almost have to do it. Yeah. You Over know? in Burbank, they have both. They have Target and Walmart, Walmart. which is wild. I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Col the, like, right. Col Col uh, Empire Center, same oh, same center. Snap. I know. That is. Oh, I think I know where you're talking yeah, about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Krispy Kreme is over there. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, my Krispy. Yeah, we need to talk about. I'm Krispy here Krispy for the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to the next tweet. Uh, uh, everything on Netflix sucks. <laughs> One like. <laughs> One like. <light>. But Monochrome <laughs> is a great. I'm going to you first. It's true though. It's true. It is like especially if you if you binge watched since the beginning of COVID, yeah. they took all oh, the good yeah. shows off. They, they took the Office off. They did. They took the Office off. The you only did. reason I had Netflix. Oh, really? I mean, I love The Office is mm -hmm. iconic. Yeah, I've know. watched it's it like four times. You gotta watch it at least yeah, more yeah. than once. Yeah. Joy, your thoughts on the tweet? Because Monochrome and me kind of agree. I what mean, 
I got to be real. Netflix is my OG subscription. So I, yeah, I, I, I guess love it for before, yeah. nostalgia. Uh, and I got to say, I watched a great kids movie yesterday, brand new, on Netflix. It's called The Mitchells vs. Machines. Uh -huh. It's great. I heard about that. It's great. Yeah. I, I truly was like, my sister texted me being like, you need to watch it. Yeah. And I was pleased. So I, ca I can't agree. And neither, like, comparatively Just to this, like, 600 life. plus <laughs> likes from the last one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's he might have liked his own tweet. Big difference. Yeah, big, big diff. Difference. Clap that up. Wow, yeah. Joy made a, a good observation. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the next tweet before I start crying. Uh, uh, I still get excited to walk the gaming aisles at Best Buy. Uh. Uh, how do we feel about this live studio audience? <gasps> oh, what live studio? I mean, that was a good. Did y'all play video games? Yeah. I, I still do. play video. Yeah, Thank I you. do. Clap yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah, because yeah, I kind of phased out. I wish I still did. Yeah. But I, I love walking down at any store. Uh -huh. You see all of yeah. them lined up so angelically and just mm -hmm. listening, and it's like, gosh, it's sixty dollars, but right. I gotta do it. Gotta I need the it. new Modern Warfare. Mm. You know, it's hot. Uh, do y'all, let, let, let's start off with this. Uh, I do, let's talk about Best Buy briefly. Have y'all been in a Best Buy? Yes. In the past? Oh, for real. I yeah. have been in a Best Buy. It's been a minute. It's I, been a minute I, for I don't me think too. I've been in a Best Buy since quarantine, for okay, sure. Okay, okay. Um, but I got Steam. I'm not, I'm not trying to advertise oh. for Netflix and Steam right do now. Do what you gotta do. I'm just like, but do what you gotta Steam do. Steam makes it easy because it's just right there. Pick it up. Yeah, pick it up with these. Yeah. And it's all yeah. easy games. Uh -huh. um, That's true. Comparatively. Uh, I, but I do love the feeling of be, of like seeing a new game and being like, oh, should I spend the 20 plus yeah, bucks? Yeah, more, usually yeah. more than 20. Um, God, now they're like yeah. 60 no, for a yeah, new game. Yeah, yeah. So Monochrome, what are your, well, you know what? Yeah, we've all been in the Best Buy. I want to ask, what video games are you playing right mm. now? Oh, I mean, I'm a Twitch streamer, so I play. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow, follow her on Twitch. Monochrome <laughs> Candy. Yeah, um, I play like every console, every console. Wow. Like I've like, Honestly, like I'm, I've been streaming Cold War lately. Oh um, yes. I got like Prestige too. I'm, oh, okay. I'm Cla clap it up for her. I've been That's grinding no joke. it, you know. <laughs> That's no joke. <laughs> but oh, I mean, wow. like, this, compared to like PC games, like PC games are a little more like low key. I mean, everyone mm -hmm. uses PC now. Like, you, yeah. you get clowned on if you use console. That's true. <laughs> so, That's true. Like, you kind of have why. to. That's expensive. That PS5 yeah, and that is. Xbox One. Sense. Yeah. Goodness. Ugh. I mean, gosh, is that our last one? Well, let's go to this one. Uh -huh. I genuinely believe good Chinese food cures my sadness. I feel it. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's 100%. start with Joy. Why Joy? Ooh, you give it, I mean, I, because it's it's filling and then you're ready for it later. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. just takes like an hour for you to be ready for the rest of your Chinese food. Mm. And I can, you know, you curl up with some chow mein, some orange chicken. Oh, don't get me and hungry. Like it, it just feels good. It hits you, yeah. It gets yeah. you and it helps you sleep. Um, That's true. It is some filling food. And I can't feel sad if I'm asleep. So um, that's good. Yeah. Wow. Clap that up for joy. Thank you. That's analysis. Now, monochrome. Your thoughts? Can I can totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. True I mean, sense. like, legitimately, if you get, if you go to like, let's say, like General Sos, or you go to like, what well, other mm. place? Like, I know there's like little like mom and pop right. shops yeah. that sell like the absolutely bussin' food. Mm -hmm. Bussin' bussin'. Bussin' bussin'. God. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah. Like, if you get like a, one of those like big like styrofoam trays no. of like teriyaki chicken. Are you yeah. getting me too hungry, monochrome? I I swear to God, that thing will change your life. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Life changing. Mm -hmm. Clap that up. Good. <laughs> that was the last tweet on the show. Would you please clap it up for Monochrome and Joy? <laughs> they were so much fun, and I loved having them. I really did. I, I got to go back to that tweet, though. I need uh, Joy to mm -hmm. bless us mm -hmm. with one more limerick yes. of some sort of something. All right, let's do it. I just want to bust and <laughs> get good, lost the word. Bust. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> but I, I just want to bust and bust load of Chinese food. And I'm telling you, dude, get me something so good, not lame, chow mein. Oh. Broccoli and beef. Be uh. uh, and then you'll see oh, that man. I'm not sad anymore. I'm sleeping some more. And I got a little more craving for. Oh, she's hitting them. Aretha? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, well, some more leftovers. Clap it up!
Oh, the greatest, the greatest. Oh my God. This is one of my favorites. Joy and Monaco totally tore it up. What a hot, wow, that was a performance in the way. That was amazing. Wow. Uh, well, I think after that, uh, I was a pleasure analyzing culture with them. Clap it up one more time for Monaco and Joy. Clap it up. <laughs> Ooh, they before we end out, they are too, they're so talented. They're so fun. They're so electric. I want them to plug their social media. Let's start with Monaco. Monaco, yes. tell us, how do we find you? I have many socials. So my Instagram is, oh my God, no one can pronounce this the right way. And I'm so sorry for the person who has to spell this. Yeah. Idiosyncratic behavior Ooh. is yeah. my Instagram handle. Uh, nice. Monochrome Candy is my Twitch. Monochrome Candy is my Twitter. So that's pretty much all I have. Clap it up. Clap yeah. it up. I love it. Follow us. It's super that's talented. a great Instagram name, right? I tell you. It is, too. Uh, it really is. Joy, tell us, how do we find you? Mine's far more basic because <laughs> <laughs> it's just Joy Mamie. At Joy Mamie. J O Y M A M E Y E. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that yes. good stuff. Clap it up for the both of them, please. <laughs> follow Joy. Follow Monaco. You're going to be in for a treat, I guarantee. And now, folks, before I end out, I always love to end out each episode with a joke. Do either of you find folks? Y'all had me laughing. I had a great time already. But I like to end out with a little joke. Do either of y'all have a joke? Do you like uh, to share? Ooh, okay, I got one. Oh, hit I, me. I think I do have Please one. Please hit me. Okay. Ooh, I'm really bad at, like, figuring out these on the top. I, I yeah. have, like, a oh, catalog of, like, mm -hmm. jokes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I have one. Here we go. How do you make a band stand? <laughs> I don't know how. You put a little boogie in it? No, you take away the chairs. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's a good one! <laughs> Clap it up one more time for Monica and Joy. What an honor we had. It was my privilege to have him on the last talk show. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, check that out, follow them, and get ready for more heat coming from your favorite talk show. One more time, thank you. Clap, 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 clap. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Little Pointer, and I would really like it if you like, subscribe, and share. And check out our other videos here, 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 and here. See ya.